Hello, my beautiful besties. It's the girl Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. For today's video, Model Ones was kind enough to send me another PR, and this time I'm going to display everything differently. So one of the things that they sent me were these full cover long coffin tips, along with their four in one nail glue, which is amazing by the way. This is what the tips looks like, and as you can see, they're pre-etched on the inside. And I think the length, it's actually very decent. Like it says on the box, they are long coffin tips. And if you were to do the famous Gelex method, um, this is, you know, the right tips to use. Or I would, this will be my choice of tips to use because they're pre-edged on the inside. And by the way, that four in one glue, it's very, very thick and absolutely perfect for the Gelex method. So another thing that they sent me were these, the pack, this pack of six gels. This is what the packaging on the outside looks like. Um, it comes in the back with the ingredients, directions, storage warnings, and contact information. This is what the bottles look like, and I will soon show you what the colors look like. So I hope you guys are enjoying this way of me showing you everything that the company sent you let me know in the comment section below what you think and check out how gorgeous these colors are and how perfect for these season are like these colors are perfect for this season absolutely gorgeous um i wanted to use that blue one so bad but i wanted to change it up a little bit so i chose to use the purple for today's set um so yeah another thing that they sent pretty amazing um it was this very cute lamp and this is the instructions on the lamp it tells you the information about the lamp i'm going to show you what it looks like it's so cute and this lamp is perfect for the gelex method it is perfect for that so if you are into doing gelex method this is definitely the kit for you and also the lamp so this is what the lamp looks like it's absolutely adorable it comes with you know it says that it uh, gives you the 15 second 30 second or 60 second cure and this is what the lamp and the lights look like once you turn it on and you're able to see because it gives you a countdown once you press whatever seconds you want if you want the 15 the 30 or the 60 second cure I want to take this moment to give my shout out so shout out to everyone who takes the time to watch my videos shout out to everyone who likes comments and share my videos it helps me out a lot here on youtube shout out to everyone who's new to my channel welcome to my nail crew bestie thank you so much for joining the crew shout out to my moderators sugar eclipse nails and nail crazy mama their links will be available in the description box in case you guys are looking for extra content to watch and shout out to my patrons thank you so much for your love and support and thank you for your donation to my channel so here i had already applied my plf method and my tips so this is everything that i'm going to use for today's set and i will show you um you know as i'm using it i will be explaining everything so i want to do uh frenchies and i'm going to do the exact same design on all of the nails so i will show you for the majority of the video one nail except for when i start using the stamping plates which i'll show you i think it's two to three nails um but for the majority of the video it's just going to be one nail because it's going to be too repetitive and the only reason why i chose to show to show three nails for the stamping plates is because they're three different designs um but yeah so the only reason i'm doing this applying this bead of clear by the way this clear is from melody susie i do have a discount code in the description box in case you guys uh want to check them out i also have a uh, in the description box the link to all the items that I'm using from model ones This is speed uh, Bubblegum from young nails and this is the color I chose to do my Frenchies with and as you guys already know I like to Break down my Frenchies into different beads. It's the easiest method for me um, If I find something easier faster um, I will definitely show you but as of today this is the easiest way for me to do it um and yeah i mean 
it's easier for me to do it with acrylic like this because it sets so fast and I want to make sure that the Frenchies look nice. I know I still have to practice on my Frenchies because they're, they're not perfect yet, um, but they're not that bad either. So I do want to continue to practice on them. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, please don't forget to like, comment, and if you find this video helpful, share with your friends um, or on your social media that will help out my channel very, very much. Um, and if you guys are uh, interested in joining my membership, um, it is for $4.99 and you'll get exclusive content, exclusive lives. Um, I can show you how to apply acrylic, hard gel, poly gel, and bling. Um, by the time this video is up, I already had done my first bling class. Um, I don't have anything really planned. I just want to have fun with my girls and, you know, answer whatever questions they have and, you know, try to be helpful as much as I can. I am not an educator, but I can definitely show you tips and tricks on how I, you know, learn how to do everything, which is basically the main point um of the membership and also that is their way of donating to my channel which i appreciate very much everything that is donated to my channel goes directly back into my channel um so thank you so much patrons for your love and support i appreciate you very much and i hope that you know i am able to help you as much as i can So here I'm just crisping up those sidewalls to that extended nail bed and after I finish doing this to all of the nails, I will go ahead and apply some gel polish. Um, I do want to say that if, when you're doing this, be careful, don't be too harsh when you're filing because you can make the mistake of actually breaking the tip and that's not good. Um, I uh, That has happened to me before. And I've heard from several people that it has also happened to them. So be careful when you're doing this step. Uh, just make sure that you're concentrating the filing on the acrylic and not um, putting too much pressure on the tip. So yeah, like I said, I will go in with um, some gel polish. I did use that cute lamp that Model 1 sent me and it worked really nice. I think it's best for shorter nails but it worked for this length so i really don't have uh complaints about it i did to make sure i did cure for uh two minutes um just because of the length like i wasn't sure <laughs> i wouldn't i'm not used to using those type of lamps to do full cures but i mean it worked very nicely and i think it's perfect for the Gelex method, like I said, that is a very popular method at this moment. I don't do it because I already have product on my nails, so it's kind of hard to find tips that actually fit because I already have product on my nails. But anyways, this is the color that I chose to use. It is absolutely beautiful. All of the colors in this collections are actually in this collection are actually very, very, very beautiful. Um, so I wanted to go with a gothic. Uh, look um, I have several sets planned ahead of time and I do hope that you enjoy you know my sets so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this set so far if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment section below I do appreciate um, and it also helps me out a, a lot uh, here on YouTube when you comment on my videos also when you share and like my videos So if you're doing that, thank you so much. I appreciate you if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and become part of my nail crew and if you want to join my membership for $4.99 don't forget uh, to you know press that join button follow the steps and become part of my bling besties crew so here I am using the lamp like I said it worked really nice I don't really have any complaints I do appreciate you model ones thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity um, and I 
I can't thank you enough. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say aside from thank you. So thank you so much for the opportunity to collaborating with you one more time. Um, this is my second collab with Model Ones this month, and I feel incredibly blessed. Uh, so thank you so much. So for the gel polish, I ended up doing two coats for every nail. However, I only show you one coat on camera just because I want to keep the video shorter. Um, I did show a lot of the uh, stamping because I know there's um, stamping for me. It's a beautiful art and not many people know how to do it. Um, and I'm really in the basics. I can't wait to do reverse stamping and all of that good stuff, but baby steps, bestie, <laughs> baby steps. So after I finish applying the this gel polish, I will cure for 60 seconds. Then I go in with my second coat and I cure for 60 seconds as well. So this is the stamping plate I chose to use for today's video. I purchased this stamping plate so long ago. I can't even remember if I purchased it off of Amazon or AliExpress. So I most likely won't have the link to this, but there's many websites you can visit. Um, that is the gel, um, not the gel, <laughs> that is the stamping polish I'm going to use, which is from Maniology. Now Maniology, I'm also a um, ambassador for, so I do have a um, discount code for Maniology in case you guys are interested. They have beautiful um, stamping plates, uh, items, and stamping polishes, so check them out. The link will be available in the description box. To clean your stamping plates, you will need acetone, that's why I showed that earlier. So when you're stamping, all you have to do is just pretty much apply the polish to the stamping plate. Um, and then you scrape to remove whatever excess and then you pick up the image. You don't need to apply too much pressure when you do that. So the reason for the tape is uh, in case you have excess image that you don't need or from the other design that you don't want on your nail, just you know remove it with the with the tape like you saw me doing right there so um sorry i'm trying to keep up with the video because it is sped up <laughs> and i'm tired at this time i woke up to do this set at three o'clock in the morning oh that is my life bestie that is the only time that i have to do <laughs> youtube so yeah um you're gonna see me repeat the same process for several nails um, and I hope you guys find this helpful when you're trying to pick up the image you don't need to apply too much pressure that was one of the first mistakes I was doing um, again stamping art is a beautiful art there's so many stamping plates out there so many images so many things and beautiful designs that you can do with just stamping that i really need to start start using my stamping plates more often because i do have a few a few that i purchased off um born pretty some of them i purchased from many um not maniology maniology sent me a pr but i do have stamping plates from maniology I have stamping plates from AliExpress that I purchased, some stamping plates from Amazon. That's why I said I don't know at this point where I got this stamping plate from, but I know I purchased it from somewhere. <laughs> and so um, the, the stamping, um, 
Oh my god, brain fart. I forgot what the name is. <laughs> I'm so tired I am, Bestie. My apologies. The stamper. And also the stamper. I got it from AliExpress. Um, so yeah. Um, but then again, you can go on to Miniology's website, check out what they have available, and you can use my discount code. Um, also, you can use um, my discount code. I have a bunch of discount codes in my description box. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from any of those links, go ahead and feel free to use them. They're there for a reason and they're there to get you a good discount. Um, and I'm more than happy to share that with everyone. So I'm going to step back. I'm going to let you enjoy this part of the video and I'll be right back. So this is what the nails are looking like so far and I am loving this look bestie. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that 4-in-1 glue that they sent me which is very thick. That's why I said it's perfect for the Gel X method. As you can see it's a very very thick, very 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 thick uh, gel uh, and that's why I said it's actually perfect for the Gel X method. So if you are into the Gel-X method, I definitely recommend 
you um you know getting this four in one also the tips because they come pre-edged and they're a decent you know decent size uh, length actually uh, and it comes with good size tips because the biggest size that I showed you was the one that I was able to put over even though I have product on my nails so I thought that was a pretty decent um, size so after I apply this I'm gonna go in with some flakies and I'm going to apply them to my index and middle finger after I finish placing the flakies I'm gonna go in and cure for 60 seconds and then I'm going to um, encapsulate this set with some more um, acrylic so I'll be right back So this is the clear acrylic that I used at the beginning of the video. This clear acrylic is from Melody Susie. I am really loving this clear. However, I made a mistake at the end of the video when I was applying my bling gel. I used the brush, um, the same brush that I used to apply the black um, gel apparently i thought i had cleaned it well and i didn't so you're gonna see that the color it really doesn't look clear or doesn't look as clear but don't worry bestie because i have plans on doing an actual clear set i did went ahead i liked it so much that i purchased two extra jars for me to use them so um in the near future i will be doing a clear set um, just to show how clear this clear really is because um, yeah I have been pretty amazed I just happened to make the mistake of using the same brush and it wasn't really um, clean so um, it kind of changed it tinted the the clear a little bit um, but I've used it on several other sets that I've done encapsulations with um, because I do love encapsulating my sets. So the this clear really does not turn yellow. Um, but if you see that it's a different color, it's only because of that. I actually made the mistake of not cleaning the brush properly. And when I apply my bling gel, it transfers some of the color onto the nail. And that's why it looked the way it looked. So I just, I, I felt like I needed to explain that part because I have been bragging about this acrylic a lot lately. 
and I don't want you to think like, bestie, what are you talking about? That does not look clear to me. Okay, it didn't look clear to me either. So I was like, oh, okay, this is what I did wrong. So yeah, just to show you that everyone makes mistakes. So this is what the nails are looking like so far. And this is what the nails look like after shaping and filing. So it's time for some bling. Go bestie, go bestie, go bestie, go bestie, go bestie. Go bestie. <laughs> this is the bling gel. I will do two nails. Um, I was planning on recording more of the bling gel, but at this time, it was already time for me to drop off the kids at school. So I had to stop <clears throat> in the middle of my bling application, drop them off at school, and then come back and finish the video. <sighs> and people think I'm not busy. Yeah, I'm always busy, even on my days off. They're not really days off for me. But anyways. I hope you enjoy the bling application. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know what you guys think of this video overall in the comment section below. So I will see you in the finished look. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this set. Let me know which one was your favorite nail. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much Model One for the opportunity to collaborate with you one more time. And thank you so much for stopping by Bestie. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.